I considered actually writing on this, like actually writing on it, like producer, B plays, role, number, whatever, scene, whatever, take, whatever, director, B plays, camera, my tripod, you know, I just considered writing on it, but I realized I am just, I'm just too lazy to just pretend there's writing on it, all right? And by the way, while I am here, don't forget, this Saturday, the 13th, we have got a new giant pageant. The winner will get the most recent halo and 100k diamonds, and second and third players get a lot of diamonds too so you'll want to be there right here on my youtube channel at 1 p.m eastern that's 6 p.m uk time you can go to the live tab on my youtube channel right now and click remind me and if i were you i would because who doesn't like free stuff when an update's about to come out that's gonna make us all poor i highly highly suggest that you head on over there and click notify me so you don't forget this saturday 1 p.m eastern time see you there Hello wonderful little beans, my name is Bee and welcome back to another video. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications if you're new here so that you don't miss any of my daily raw high videos. So little beans, I have been hard at work and that is because I have been writing a massive list of all the reasons I feel that our beloved raw high is about to change forever, if not already has changed forever, and all the reasons why I think you guys probably haven't actually considered how deep this goes. We have made a lot of videos in the past talking about Raw High changing because every single time they do something big, obviously the community is kind of like, what the heck's going on? But this kind of feels like a big moment, you guys, because something specific happened over the last few months that I think is going to change the shape of Raw High forever. Literally, something in this list is going to change the shape of Raw High forever. So we're going to start off with, of course, the new scaling system. We already know there's been a lot of hints about a new scaling system coming and Pure Sweet and straight up confirming it on Twitter as well. So, you know, but we kind of expect it's coming. Don't forget, as well as Pure Sweet and saying that it was coming on Twitter, there was also this clip. Sure. Um, that's kind of a lot of questions. I mean, will there be more body types? Yes, there's always new stuff all the time coming to Royal High, period all different varieties, all new things, new realms, new styles, etc. cetera. Uh, and because of that, the answer is yes. So like, will there be new body types? There will be new everything. So in case you've somehow been sleeping under a rock and managed to miss all this information about the new body types, they have already confirmed that even the mask players right now are kind of not in the best place, especially because obviously the masculine models are not ideal. There will be new models coming and of course this scaling system has already been essentially confirmed by Pure Sweetener and hinted at by other developers. So as you guys may remember, I made a video not that long ago where I talked about my idea for how a basic scaling system could work. This was made by me in literally 10 minutes just to show an example of how the menus could look if they were to add a scaling system where you could essentially change your shoulders and chest size, your arms and leg size, your torso, your height and weight, etc, etc. And of course, choose still your gender choice for the main things like hair colors, makeups, whatever it might be. I wanted to make sure that it was clear for you guys that I wanted to give like a visual aid, but this isn't actually made by the devs. I made this myself just for funsies, just as an idea. But obviously having a visual aid does help just so you can imagine what it could be like. Now, in addition to the masculine changes, the scaling options and the things that are happening into body models there are other things happening as well in the community one of those things i wrote down you guys is the no return of seasonal realms you may not have actually thought about this but isn't it pretty obvious given the fact that the valentine's divinia park did not come back the snow globe summit realm did not come back and while wickery cliffs did the update was almost empty so i think it's pretty clear that wickery cliffs came back because the devs didn't have a lot of time between new school and halloween to actually make an update for that season which is why when they did have time to make the glitter frost one they didn't give us back snow globe summit and did something entirely new and when they did have time to prepare for the everfriend update they gave us something entirely new inside of the castle's heart again and no new realm or old realm coming back or changes to that realm ever releasing again i think it's pretty clear what the message is that they're trying to tell us here you guys they are obviously focusing now on seasonal updates happening in the new school which barbie did say was going to happen eventually and they've started doing it i think it's very clear that that's what's happening you can go back to an old update log and i don't remember the date unfortunately you'd have to go back a while probably well into like 2022 but there was a specific date somewhere in here where barbie actually said specifically that she was going to look forward to the new update i think it was christmas 2022 you guys i want to say just before it i think uh capture 
I think it was somewhere around the December update, they said, we can't wait to celebrate Christmas in the new school the next year, which was somewhere around here. I don't remember where it was, you guys. But obviously, they did clearly say that they're looking forward to celebrating the Christmas updates next year in, obviously, the new school. And obviously, that's what they're doing. They're doing it inside of Campus 3, the new school we've all been waiting for for years. This was always planned. It was always confirmed. They always said this. So they're literally just doing exactly what they said they were going to do. So while, yes, you may miss those old realms, this is what's happening. And we're going to have to come to terms with that fact because obviously this is it. This is what they're doing. So that's it, guys. No more older realms, I don't think. I think Wicked Me probably won't come back this year. I imagine Evening Fall will be inside the new school and inside the castle's heart and whatever realms are out by then. So yeah you can say that's a good or bad thing i think toxic nostalgia kind of makes us look back and wish it could come back but honestly i think this is probably a good thing you guys personally i don't see any reason why they should bring it back i just think it makes more sense to do something new instead so i also wrote down on my list in addition to the no returning of the old seasonal realms that obviously these seasonal updates will be happening inside the new school the castle's heart seems to be the hub that they are focusing on for most of these updates as you obviously know already this castle's heart realm has obviously hosted christmas now or glitter frost and is now hosted at the ever friend update too obviously they have had evening fall inside the school too but the castle's heart wasn't out yet so they did still have wickery cliffs but i think there's a good chance that they are not going to be bringing back wickery cliffs next time like i just mentioned i also wrote down on my list another change to be excited about this one's a good one in my opinion unless you don't like grinding for diamonds in which case not a good one is regular sets returning we obviously know now that regular sets are coming back because they're doing two sets in a row and just released two sets for winter so it looks like they're going to be committing to regular seasonal sets again i'm guessing based on the fact that we just had two for glitter frost an actual released one and of course one through the advent and now we know there's one coming for everfriend as well i think it's pretty clear they're starting to work on releasing those seasonal sets again like they're used to so personally i'm excited about that i know obviously it's kind of hard to be excited if you're a little bit broke i recognize that not everybody has enough diamonds for it but i think it's both like a bittersweet kind of thing like yes you have to save up a lot and yes it costs a lot but on the bright side they're finally bringing the new content out again that they promised us for so long and then lastly, there is one change that I think is pretty much just all positive, and I can't see any reason why it wouldn't be, that Dolly's got to share with you that I think you'll be excited about. In case you didn't already hear the news, Cheapy confirmed some information for us on Twitter. As you guys can see, Ambi said, tell me if this isn't tea, but Cheapy confirms they'll be making the halos from now on. This was sent in my Discord server. As you can see, I am B said, good morning Cheapy, question are you making the new halo by any chance? And Cheapy said, I'll be making quite a few from now on. In other words, Cheapy is confirmed to be the brand new Halo designer for the upcoming updates in Royal High and probably will be continuing to be for the future. So that's an exciting change, you guys. A new dev permanently on the team. She will be working on some other stuff too because we've seen Cheapy has worked on other stuff too like the elf earrings that we got for Advent. So it looks like there's going to be some exciting stuff to come. Personally, I'm pretty excited about that. So there you go, you guys. Some stuff that you should get ready for that is changing in Royal High. Quite a lot, really, when you think about it. The game itself has changed a lot over the last couple of years. It looks like it's going to change even more but with that all in mind there you go thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed today's video please don't forget to leave a like subscribe and click that bell and you start going to be when buying robux or premium of course as always don't forget if you are coming by to the pageant i will look forward to seeing you there make sure you come on time there so that you can participate and also you guys if you haven't already do go follow me on instagram it's the only social media i'm really using nowadays so i would love to see you over there if you have a moment to just pop on over and say hi i love getting to interact with you guys over on instagram so as i said i'd love it if you guys could pop on over and follow me Thank you so much. And with that in mind, goodbye. Cut.